Would you say that you are obsessed with what the critics think? You know, there are two kinds of critics. That's four. There are two kinds of critics. There are critics that tell us exactly what we want to hear, and there are the critics that tell us the things that we don't like hearing so much. They're both dangerous. Because when the critics who tell us the things we love hearing give us great feedback, it makes us happy, and we don't always push ourselves further than we have to. We made everybody happy and we feel great. But then, on the flip side, when we hear negative feedback from some people, then we are miserable, and then we become increasingly paranoid about what those people will think. If you're doing this, you're not being authentic. You're not being you, and this is dangerous, particularly with the creative process. I have found that when I'm paranoid about what people will think of my ideas and my projects, then it stifles my work process. So you don't wanna be in a position where you're somebody else's puppet. Be yourself and stop worrying about the critics. Now, there's also another type of critic that I should mention. This is a very powerful critic for me. It always has been. It's the inner critic. It's that critic that tells us that we're not good enough. Now, you'll notice that often this critic is a projection of what we think or fear that other people will think. Another critic that we need to silence as conforming chameleons.